The struggle is continued in the midst of reverses. 1. The same author may well be supposed to continue. First stanzas have been lost, but we observe that the subject of the section is still face to face with the dot of a party. He seems to see them arrayed and engaged in hostile devotions, but he is not intimidated. The friendship of Ahura is before his mind, and he expresses his desire that he and his colleagues may become or continue his apostles, notwithstanding the temporal sorrows, which according to 43 and 2, we see that he clearly anticipated as the portion of those who would propagate the holy faith Two. Mazda answers him, and through him his followers, as established in the spiritual sovereignty, accepting the devotion of their piety with commendations and implied encouragements. He whom they would serve is supreme, they need not fear. 3. After reporting this response of Ahura, the composer turns with vehemence towards the dot of us, poeti poetically conceived to be present, as if before their adherents, who also, according to verse 1, are supposed to be in sight, or are dramatically so conceived, celebrating the profane devotions, and he addresses them as the very seed of Satan. The worshippers belong to the religious falsehood and perversity, and they, having persistently propagated their evil creed, which is, in consequence, spreading. And so the very seed language, see, that language is used for God, too. But the idea is, at a certain point, you can become even the only begotten. Well, I mean, in the, in the, in the Bible, it's the, the only begotten, but... Um, Today I have begotten you. That 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 sort of thing is still there, just not to that extent. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not literal, but the beings of that realm, perhaps. For they have, so he acknowledges with grief, perverted men's minds, making them spokesmen for themselves and a consequence deserters from the great kindly disposition of Ahura Mazda and outcasts, fallen from his understanding. See, the Da'avas, I mean, you know, that there might be, there might be literal children of the fallen ones that, of the same type of creation as, you know, Satan. Ahraman, Ingra, Ma'inu, you know. But see, they're not, they're not the same type of creation as the Ahuras. So when you say they're fallen and outcasts, it doesn't mean that, you know, they can fake being, you know, the light beings. They can't. Of course, from our perspective, if we don't know one from the other, you know, um, Five, they've destroyed the hopes of mankind from a happy life upon earth and for immortality in heaven. And in this, they are not only the seed of the evil mind personified, but as servants rallying at his word. Eight, oh, oh I mean six, their leader is striving energetically, so he mournfully bewails to the effect uh, to affect his evil ends, but it is time that he should recall the counteracting measures of Ahura. His holy doctrines are to be announced, and their authority established by the divine Kshatra, his sovereign power personified. 7. The composer then contemplates, with religious irony, 
the infatuated security of the wretched delinquents whom he is apostrophizing. Not a man of them knows the destruction which awaits him, and which, as he intimates, is close at hand, but Ahura, he significantly exclaims, is aware of it, and it will be proportionately severe. The blindness of sinners to danger seems as definite a judgment upon them in his estimate as their blindness to truth. 8. To point his anger with an instance he names the apostate Yima, whom he supposes to have erred in the first introducing the consumption of the flesh of cattle. He disavows community with him, as with them all, declaring himself separate from them in Ahura's sight. 9. He acknowledges that their leader has to a certain degree defeated his teachings, and he impaired the just estimates of his life, which he had striven to form within the people, are that he will do this, if not checked, declaring also that he had made inroads upon his property, which was sacred to the holy cause. And he cries aloud to Ahura and to Asha with the words of his very soul. 10. He repeats that their leader threatens to invalidate his teachings, blaspheming the supreme object of nature, the sun, together with the sacred kind, injuring the productive land and carrying murder among the saints. 11. He utters his bitter wail in view of attempted slaughter and actual spiritual opposition. He points out the plots among the powerful and their illegal confiscation of inheritances, as well as those of women, as those of man, uh, of those of men, and he declares that his opponents are endeavoring to injure his adherents, as if repelled by the best spiritual qualities which an individual could possess. 12. He announces the solemn judgment of God upon it all, especially reprobating those who deal treacherously against the mystical kind, that is, the holy herds and people, and apostrophizing those who prefer Grehma above the saving and sanctifying Asha and the kingdom of the lie demon above the divine kshatra, you know, grahma as in the um, supposed counter-prophet. Well, I mean, grahma as in real, but, you know, but grahma had a competing religion claim. 13. He declares that Grahma, oh, well, I should have let it explain itself. He declares that Grahma, an opposing chief, desired that evil kingdom in the abode of the personified hell. And he cannot refrain from adding that he also enviously desires to share in the holy apostleship. But as he severely rejoins the messenger of God, will hold him afar from the sight of the divine righteousness, he can have no share in the faith. Here it may be noticed that we have some data for presenting the main features of the struggle. In several instances, centering perhaps in the actual description of the battle in 44 verses 15 and 16. Oh, okay, well, earlier it's 43 verse 12. Um... Use dots or something, not commas, so you think that's something. Uh, we see traces of the closeness of controversy. In 44, verse 15, the two hosts seem to be closing in regular lines. Uh, if I said yes before, I mean yes, no. Um, the two hosts seem to be closing in regular lines for the holy vows themselves. Here, on the other hand, we read a willing complaint or regretful desire. While judicial blindness is referred to over and over again under various phrases, one might suppose that the dot of a party were very near the Zarathustrians in many of their religious peculiarities, but that they could not accede to or understand the dualism after the matter of Oh, 
well, it says pagans, that's not really the right term. They were all, all probably lived in pegs and heaths and stuff. Um, and the matter of people who believe differently, or perhaps, you know, general polytheist, or ethnically driven people, um, they implicated the entities and their sins. Compare the drunken Indra. At all events, a bitter and violent war of doctrines was waging with both speech and weapons. I think it looks like the struggle of two parties who each claimed to be proper uh, to be the proper representative of some similar form of faith. Similar, of course, I mean outwardly. 14. Deploring the establishment of the Kavis, who approached with stratagems and false teachings to aid the opposing party, the composer declares that they say that the kind herself is to be injured instead of blessed by the fire priest who kindles the altar flame. 15. He supports himself, however, with the hope of ultimate success and with the prospect of his reward when he and his fellow laborers should be gloriously born to heaven by wheel and immortality, the eternal two, who not only, as we see, bear saints to bliss, but also constitute the beatitude of heaven itself. 16. He confines all at last to Ahura, who is able to control all events, and to solve all doubts, and who will support his servants in bringing the wicked to vengeance by means of verbal instructions and commands. And then we move on to the translation. Well, after this um, bit that I don't think is there, uh, oh, I mean, you know, the, the a supposed um, opening part. The rival monarch, thus we may supply the sense of lost verses, for whom some are plotting to secure the sovereignty, and who, once in power, would deliver over home, village, town, and province to ruin and to death, is to arrive in his efforts and offering the devotions of his false religion to accomplish his ends. Well, unlike what they do with the Book of Mormon, I don't think the colophon thing would have been a part, but one, his lord kinsman will pray, as I, Zarathustra, prayed, and his laboring villagers with his trusted peers and his fellow, the Eva worshippers, but in my mind is the friendship of Ahura Mazda, the great creator, the living lord, and thine heralds, Ahura. May we be, may we hold back, those who hate and who offend you. Two, to these, for whom the prophet spake, Ahura Mazda answered, ruling, as he does through his good mind, within their souls. He replied from his sovereign power, our good friend, as he is, through his surprising righteousness. We have accepted your good and bountiful piety, and we have chosen her. Ours shall she be. 3. But you, O Da'avas, are all a seed from the evil mind. He who offers sacrifice to you the most is of the lie demon, and he is a child of perversion in advance. Are your deceits, whereby ye are famed in the sevenfold earth, for ye are confusing our thoughts, whereby men giving forth the worst deeds will speak, and as of the demon entities beloved, forsaken by the good mind, far astray from the understanding of the great creator, the living Lord, and far astray from his righteousness. 5. Therefore ye would beguile mankind of happy life upon earth, and of immortality, Beyond it, since the evil spirit has ruled you with his evil mind, yea, he has ruled you. Ye, who are of the demon entities, and with an evil word unto action, as his ruler governs the wicked. Six, full of crime, your leader has desired to destroy us. Wherefore, he is famed, and his doctrine is declared. But if this be so of these, then in the same 
manner, O Ahura, thou possessest, because thou knowest, the true teachings in thy memory, and in thy kingdom, and thy righteous order, will I establish thy precepts in thy name. 7. Among these wretched beings, this their leader knows not that those things which are declared as victorious by his, by his allies are bound together for the smiting. Yea, those things by which he was famed as victorious by his blade of glittering iron, but the utter destruction of those things thou, O Ahura Mazda, knowest most surely. Eight of these wretched beings, Yima, Bivan, Gusha, was famed to be he who desiring to content our men was eating kind's flesh in its pieces, but from such as these, O Hermasta, in thy discerning discrimination, am I to be seen as distinct. Nine, an evil teacher, as that leader is, he will destroy our doctrines, and by his teachings he will pervert the true understanding of life, seizing away from me my riches, the choice and real wealth of my good mind, to you and to Asha Oahara Masta, I am therefore crying with the voice of my spirits. Need. 10. A. This man will destroy my doctrines. Indeed, for he bl blasphemes the highest of creatures that live or are made. He declares that the sacred kind and the sun are the worst of things which I can see. And he will offer the gifts of the wicked as priests to their demon entities. And at the last, he will parch our meadows with drought, and will hurl his mace at thy saint, who may fall before his arms. 11. Yea, these will destroy my life, for they consult with the great, of the wicked, enlightening themselves by their words. And they are seizing away the gifts of inherited treasures from both household lord and from housewife. Wretched men that they are. And those who will fiercely wound my folk, repelled, and in no way kindly moved by the better mind of the holy. Twelve. But our heart will speak his rebuke for him. As those doctrines which such men may be basely delivering, repelled by the holiest action and called by its sacred truth. God hath said, Evil are they, yea, unto these he hath said it, who have slain the kind's life by a blessing, and have cursed her while they offered to help her. Men by whom Grahmas are loved above righteousness, and the Karpans and the throne of those who have wished for the demon of lies, as if it was their deity and friend. 13. And the Grahma will seek for these things by means of his evil kingdom in the abode of hell, which is the worst mine. Who both are together, the destroyers of life, and who, O Mazda, will bewail with glad but envious wish the message of thy prophet. But he will not abate with his vengeance. He will hold them afar from the sight of the truth. 14. He is Grahma, a his, and to oppose thee, he will establish the Kavis and their scheming plans, their deeds of power are but deceits, since they have come as an aid to the wicked, and since he has been falsely said to be set to conquer the kind, he who shall kindle that very help of grace, which removes our death afar, and lightens thy saving flame. 15. And therefore will I drive from hence the Carpens and the Cavus disciples, 
and after these, have thus been driven hence and away. Then these, my princely aiding saints, whom they now render no longer rulers at will over life, and deprive of their absolute power, these shall be born at last by thee, immortal, to, to the home of thy good mind in heaven. 16. And this entire reward of the righteous is from that best one who teaches in the wide mental light of the pious, ruling as supreme, O Mazda Ahura, whose are my woes and doubtings, yea, they lie in this power to heal. When I shall make my prophets men to be sought for the harm of the wicked, and this I shall do by the word of my mouth to defend and avenge my saints. Now, the prophets to follow, well, I guess we have two sort of more explicitly mentioned. Interestingly enough, one of them's supposed uh, supposed to be in Arabia, but um oh, uh, we're commenting on the doctrine of dualism. But there's not the limit to that, so um so eight and then pray propitious results and translation of verse one. said the doctrine of dualism, right? Um, so with a long e, eh, but ya e eh, ka, supported by the pahlavi, may be the lost dual neutral of the pronoun, referring to the two principles discussed below, ya eh, ka, I pray for, although the most natural rendering grammatically does not seem so well adapted here. As a prayer for the success of the communication does not harmonize with the otherwise dogmatic statements of the composer. Well, no, if it's Zarathustra that the point of the prophetic figure is to guide the people, not to uh, just overpower people or something in one way or another. Urvata, Vrata. Founded upon the doctrine of dualism, bring about salvation. They may therefore be touched upon in this introductory verse, and that the heavenly bodies contained indications bearing directly or indirectly upon human destiny seems to have been an early accepted doctrine. Compare also chapter 20, uh, 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 Yasna 29, 3, where the lofty fires seem alluded to as moved by the deity and this in immediate connection with the discussion of the most important problems concerning the fate of the holy community. It is, however, not impossible that the lights of the altar may have been meant. And see Sukha in the second verse. The Pahlavi translation has Den, Roshano, Pavan, Venisno, Hu, Ravak, Mani as to ye ka or ya e ka, the pafali does not favor a verbal form, but if the pronoun is accepted, even then change is needed. Ya e ka ya, ye ka ina, is hardly possible. We should be obliged to render, and when these two things were those whereby the verbally propitious results have been seen in the stars, others have experienced difficulty and even Asha ya ek ka has been conjecturally suggested for the place in chapter 51, verse 2. Neither spa, oh, I forget what spa is. Uh, Narwestigard report along eh. And in the next verse, verse 29, uh, I mean verse 2, with the bright flames, um, Goshano Srud Nyok Shisni and Abrakis Aikas Gosh Bara Vasamund Zak E Roshan 
otherwise with the eye that see ya ra akabis darasata nirvaza the altar flame would not naturally be mentioned after the heavenly lights and we have to be wakeful in the middle of the verse uh, awake ye well if you're asleep in one way or another too but to our teaching we have to teach us or possibly to teach this or teach each one the Pathavi transcription in regards to the pair of spirits in verse 3 we have Banafsman a ig sano vnas va kirfak Banafsman bara yamal el und long u at the end um, they announce themselves as sin and good works. Our young Gusang has Yau, Punyam, Papamka, Svayam, Avokatam. Isn't he the Sanskrit translator? Um, Bara, Vagid. Our Gusang has Vivaktavan, Long, A, uh, that's not the right way to put it, a third plural. Subjunctive, still the force as as if imperative. Possibly it's preterit. And choose ye in verse three. But not as the evildoers. We have on this important verse, I cite Yayosang. He may be rendered as follows. Thus, the two spirits, Hormigda and Aharmana, you know, God and Satan, who uttered first in the world each his own principle, that is, who each uttered, one his good deed and the other his own sin. These were a pair in thought, word, and deed, a highest and a degraded one, and of these two, one endowed with good intelligence was the distinguisher of the true, and not the one endowed with evil intelligence. Both he and the Pahlavi fail to credit a plural form in Eris Vishyata with Spiegel and Hubschman, the Vedic verbatim. Yea, thereupon the two, the two spirits, the two first things, which the two twin self-acting ones were heard of in thought and word, Indeed, these two, a better and evil, and at which two, the wisely acting ones, are right may discern, not the evil acting ones, and... Okay, so, Engra Ma'enyu is obvious, or Ahraman. But on the other side, there's indication that earlier on, they were thinking of a created being, like Spenta Mainu, or perhaps, well, Mathra is the Fravashi of her, not the same thing. Um, in verse 4, uh, the two spirits came together, first make life, and life's absence. Um, the Pahlavi reads as an infinitive, Dasde, Avo, Zak, the His, No. So also an important authority recently. Otherwise, it has the place of a third dual perfect. They too made the place of an infinitive is not generally at the ends of a sentence in Gothic. It can simply be a third singular. Each makes Kamasa Krote. And we have life's absence out oh, here. Pavan Zen Daki va munik azen daki. Ariyengu sang has givet tenaka agi the tenaka. Observe the singular abstract 
Agya Etimka, which is not lightly to be passed over. Why not a more ordinary expression? Have we not here an unusual antithesis? The danger is great that by aiming to reduce all the commonplace for the sake of safety, we may demolish many an interesting conception of antiquity. And then we talk about the mental state. Um, observe the subjectivity. These verses settle the question as to the depth of the Zarathustrian hymns. Grammar forces us to see that the composer had large ideas. The entire cast of reflection in the Gathas tends to be abstract as well as subjective. Not so, their invective and partisan exhortations. And Verezio is a nominative singular masculine, as would seem natural from its position in the sentence, um, thereby working uh, the worst of, uh, you know, in verse 5. Compare Mathraes, Verezias, and observe that Ahura is undoubtedly called Spenesta Mainu. Elsewhere, we must sometimes render his bountiful spirit. Well, his bountiful spirit, you know, it's sort of the Gabriel, you could say. Um, but the, you know, the Christians want to think of, um, you know, the Holy Spirit as like God himself. So that enforces some of the misunderstandings here by the Orientals here. The, the firm stones of heaven... Still in verse 5, we have Zak i Sakt Sag Nehufto Asmanik. Nardigin Yusang has Gad Ataram A Kasam Dada'u. And further on in the verse, we have really in accordance with the faith, who with actions really good, piously content, Ahura. Let it be noticed that Fra Oret is not independently translated by the Pahlavi. It is freely included in Avo Au Harmazd and is yet supposed to supposed by some to be a word for word rendering. Or you're saying has Prakata Iska Kar Mabeh verbatim of these two spirits he chose himself uh, chose to himself he who was the evil the one, the worst deeds working, the righteous order, uh, accusative, chose, the spirit most bountiful, he who most firm stones close on himself, those who will and will content, ahura, with real actions, believing, masta, properly a verbatim rendering is only possible in an 